DJI might be best known for drones and camera stabilizers, but it's also branching out into audio. The DJI Mic Kit has everything needed to get great wireless audio from up to two people at the same time. While it's a great accessory for the recent DJI Action 2, the vast compatibility makes it a great choice for many applications. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the DJI Mic. Thanks for watching 9to5Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5Toys, and as you can see, we are using the DJI mic to record this. So one of the pieces is mounted on my camera, and the other piece, uh, one of the transmitters, is mounted here on my shirt. So we do still have the case and the other transmitter here in the case as well, so we can kind of show that. But I'll be showing the rest of the kit through some B-roll over this video. But since I am recording this to use the audio, uh, all the audio coming through this video will be recorded on the DJI mic kit, so then you can get an idea for what it sounds like. And if this thing looks kind of familiar, the Rode Go to wireless system is a wildly popular mic system for content creators. Uh, just like this, it's really simple and easy. You just clip it onto a shirt, clip it onto a Pell, or you can add a lav mic to it if you want. And then you just have, you know, really great wireless audio that's right on your subject, and it just takes uh, most video productions to another level. And throughout this video, we'll highlight some of the features of the DJI mic system, and then at the end, take a look at, you know, some of the differences between the DJI and the Rode. First off, let's take a look at the kit itself and the price. Uh, the DJI mic comes in at $330. So it is considerably more than, you know, just a single transmitter and receiver from Rode, which you can get for $200, but this is packing, you know, a lot more features for that price as well. DJI has included plenty of accessories for compatibility with multiple devices, but also keeps things pretty tidy and well organized within the charging case and an additional soft carrying bag. Within the case is a single receiver, two transmitters, a removable cold shoe mount, a lightning adapter, and a USB-C adapter. Additionally, the kit comes with two windscreens for the microphones on the transmitters, a short tip ring sleeve 3.5 millimeter cable, which you could use with a DSLR or mirrorless camera, and a USB-A to USB-C charging cable for the rechargeable case or any single one device within that case. And all those different accessories and attachments mean that the DJI mic kit is widely compatible with many devices. It's great for DSLR recording like I'm doing here in this video, iPhone and Android recording, as well as just recording on the microphone itself with roughly 15 hours of internal storage. It even works just fine as a microphone for my PC when I plugged it in through a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So the charging case, you know, it's pretty simple on the outside. Uh, if you've used true wireless earbuds, it's very reminiscent of one of those cases, uh, just kind of scaled up a little bit. The lid hinges open with a satisfying magnetic snap shut, and there is a USB-C port on the back near the bottom. On the front, four LED lights will display the current battery level of the case. Otherwise, it's a pretty bare black box with some texture on the front and back that does make it a little bit easier to grab. Opening the case reveals all the components laid out in an easy to find manner. The receiver will turn on and the bright touchscreen will display the current charge of all the devices. On the left and right are the transmitters. Everything fits well into the case with a satisfying click and it feels very secure. Flipping over the case, nothing is falling out. Above the receiver are two adapters, one for lightning and a USB-C adapter. And these can be attached to the receiver to work with an iOS device or Android devices. And then tucked in underneath the receiver is a removable cold shoe mount. So first off, let's talk about the transmitters. Uh, I do have one here and then the other one is mounted to my shirt I'm recording this video right now. The transmitters measure roughly one and seven eighths inch tall by one and a quarter inch wide and about seven eighths inch deep with the clip on the back. And that makes it a bit smaller than the Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitters. But despite that small size, the battery life on the transmitters is rated to five and a half hours. These transmitters also support up to 15 hours of internal recording that can be offloaded via the USB-C port on the side of the transmitter. Next to the USB-C port is a power button to manually turn the transmitter on or off. On the other side of the device is a record button as well as the link button. In the manual, DJI describes the link button as being able to start and stop recordings when connected to mobile devices that allow recording to start and stop with a volume button, but I couldn't get this to work with my iPhone 8 on iOS 15.1. Up top, the transmitters have a built-in microphone with a 3.5 millimeter TRS input next to it for supplying your own microphone. And DJI has a pretty handy design for the windscreen as well. 
there's a small bracket that will twist and lock onto the transmitter around the microphone for a secure connection that can't be accidentally knocked off. And it may look just a little bit ridiculous on there with this windscreen, uh, this large fluffy bit on here, also called a dead cat. But if you've ever recorded outside and tried to record audio, then you know that having a windscreen like this is very beneficial and pretty much a necessity. One other cool mounting feature on here that's kind of reminiscent of the Action 2 camera from DJI and even the Insta360 GO 2 is this little magnet that uh, comes attached to the clip back here. And so this is removable and what you can do with this is put it behind your shirt and then clip the transmitter through to that. So here I have, you know, this bottom transmitter just mounted with that magnet in the back. So you put it underneath your shirt, you connect it with the clip, you just attach it on there. And then through most articles of clothing, you know, especially t-shirts and, you know, lighter shirts, it's going to have a pretty secure connection on there that's not going to come off very easily. You know, even just tugging on this, it's not really coming off. If you had a thicker coat or something like that, that might, you know, cause a few issues. But if you are doing it on just a t-shirt, uh, that works really well. You know, if your subject just has a crew neck t-shirt on, uh, I have a v-neck here so I can mount it a little bit lower. But if your subject just has a crew neck t-shirt and you don't want it to be sitting you know, right up here on the collar, you can use this magnet to get it a little bit lower and get it in a better position for picking up audio. All right, and now let's talk about the receiver. Measuring nearly the same size as the transmitters, the DJI mic receiver can be equipped with the lightning adapter, USB-C adapter, or a cold shoe mount. And I found the cold shoe mount a little bit hard to attach and remove, but when it is attached, it works really well with the DSLR camera and feels very secure. On the left side are two 3.5 millimeter jacks. One is audio out, while the other is a headphone jack for monitoring the audio. Over on the right side, the receiver has a power button and USB-C port for charging and also updating firmware. On the bottom of the receiver are the contacts for charging via the case, as well as the mounting point for the adapters. So on the front of the receiver is a small touchscreen, which really has a lot of functionality built into it. When both the transmitters and the receiver is powered on, the touchscreen will display recording modes, wireless signal levels, current volume, as well as other information. The touchscreen is very quick and responsive. By swiping up or down, there are more menus for controlling the receiver. One handy feature is the ability to swap between mono, stereo, and mono safety recording modes. One note here, the lightning adapter only supports mono mode, but the USB-C and 3.5 millimeter out both support all three modes. Mono combines both transmitters into a single audio file. Stereo will separate them into left and right channels for a little more control in post-production. The mono safety mode will record a second track at minus six decibels just in case the main track peaks. So in settings where the audio is unpredictable, it could be really nice to have that safety track. Additionally, you can control the receiver gain by plus or minus 12 decibels, the transmitter gain, screen brightness, enable a low cut filter, change vibration settings, and more. There really are quite a few handy features built into this small package. So recording throughout this entire video, I've just recorded it, you know, without any effects. This is just straight from the microphone to get a good idea of what that sounds like. And I do think it sounds good. It sounds totally usable, but it does maybe sound, you know, a little bit flat. It definitely doesn't sound as clear as what a, you know, studio condenser microphone like the Solocast back there would. And, you know, if it did, that would be absolutely crazy. So I wanted to see, you know, what it sounded like with a few effects turned on. So now I've turned on some effects in Premiere Pro. Typically I just use a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ tweak, and then a hard limiter so I can push the volume up a little bit but you know make sure that it doesn't peak on my track. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it can sound like with some tweaking and some effects hopefully bring up some of that clarity. You know I'm not a audio engineer or an audio professional uh, so this is just kind of you know like what I think sounds a little bit better and hopefully this just gives you a good idea of what that can do. So all of these features make the DJI Mic Kit, you know, really powerful and very easy to use. The huge variety of connection options makes it great for my work with a DSLR, but also easy to use with my iPhone. I haven't really used the built-in audio recording very much besides just, you know, testing it a little bit, uh, but it's great to have that functionality as well. And overall, I've had no complaints on the audio quality of the DJI Mic as well. The variety of mounting options you know, makes it really easy to get, you know, the best sounding audio. Some of these with clips, you know, you don't want them too high. So having that uh, magnetic connection back there does make it really easy to drop it down a little bit and get it in a better place. And if you really don't want to see, you know, a large transmitter like this clip to somebody's shirt in your video, it's really easy to get a cheap lav mic from Amazon, plug it into here, and then you can, you know, either mount it on a lapel or hide it under a shirt with some tape and, you know, really clean up that look. And talking quick about battery life, on the transmitters, they are rated to about five and a half hours of battery life. And on the receiver, it's at five hours. And the charging case can recharge all these components 1.8 times. So for total recording times, you're looking at about 15.4 hours on the transmitters 
and 14 hours on the receiver. So for professionals, this can be just a little bit of a bummer. You know, it's not like a quick swap of AA batteries to get back up and running. For all the devices, you have to wait about 70 minutes to get back up to a full charge. But one other feature on here, I mean, these do all have their own USB-C port on here. So you could, you know, hook up a little portable battery pack and recharge these while you are using them if you really had to. But that definitely makes them more cumbersome, you know, isn't the most ideal thing. So with these little, you know, microphone kits, that's just one of the things you have to consider. You know, is a uh, five and a half hour runtime good enough for you? Are you gonna be recording for longer than that in one session? If so, you might wanna look for, you know, a little bit more of a professional system, like Sure has a lot of great mic kits. Uh, but if you are, you know, doing smaller stuff, uh, this has been an incredibly easy to use and powerful system in my experience. So talking about that competition a little bit more, you know, for $200, you can get the single road transmitter and receiver, which you know seems like a really great deal. To get the two transmitters, you do have to pay $300 with that receiver. And one other thing to note here is that the road kit you know, does work with iOS and Android devices, but it doesn't come with any cables or adapters for those. Those must be purchased separately. And while the DJI kit, you know, it costs $30 more, it comes with this really handy charging case, which keeps everything really nice and tidy in there, as well as the adapters for Lightning and USB-C already included in there. So, you know, it has all that compatibility right out of the box. And on the budget side of things, we recently reviewed the Comica VD Live 10 kit. That kit is $200 for two transmitters in the Lightning version. I think it's 180 for the USB-C version. And it has a lot of the same functionality, but not quite as premium of a build. And I do think that the audio sounds better through the DJI mic. So you're paying a little bit more for the DJI kit, but I think you're getting better quality out of that as well. And you're getting more universal compatibility because this has adapters for everything you know, built into the kit. And then it also has that 15 hours of internal storage, which the Comica kit did not have. So overall wrapping up, here, I think that the DJI mic kit offers a ton of functionality and features for the price. There are cheaper options, you know, if you are just a solo person and, you know, you only need one, you know, just pick up that Rogue kit. And if you are really on a tight budget, you can try the Comica kit. But if you really want something that has, you know, a premium design and feel and functionality, then you can't go wrong with the DJI mic kit. All right, and that'll wrap it up for our review of the DJI mic. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.